Thanks, Jay. It's been 100 years since the world suffered one of the most devastating pandemics in history. In 1918, the Spanish flu killed between 50 to 100 million people around the globe. And many fear it could happen again, but this time, only worse. That's why there's an effort underway as we speak to address that. Kelloland's Don Jorgensen has more on that and how a former South Dakota politician is playing a role. Don? Uh, Brady, the Blue Ribbon Study Panel on Biodefense was put together to study the nation's capabilities to prevent and deter another pandemic like the Spanish flu. And one of the members on that panel is a familiar face who had his own scare with bioterrorism years ago. It was considered the mother of all pandemics. In 1918, the Spanish flu pandemic affected one out of every three people in the world, killing millions, including 1,800 victims in South Dakota. That very possibility exists today, and we're not ready for it. We don't have a plan. We don't have the kind of leadership and the resources necessary to address it. Former U.S. Senator Tom Daschle is one of the members of the Blue Ribbon Study Panel on Biodefense. The panel's job is to come up with recommendations for how the U.S. can better defend the nation against biological threats. In 2001, then Majority Leader Tom Daschle was one of several people and organizations who received an anthrax lace letter in the mail. He says the bioterrorism attacks killed five people, injured 17 others, and disrupted operations all over Capitol Hill and alarmed an entire nation. He fears in today's world, it could happen again, but only worse. It doesn't take much imagination to combine a drone with anthrax over a stadium to see what kind of dangers actually uh, exist today. It could be South Dakota, it could be Minneapolis, it could be anywhere in the country or the world for that matter. That's why the panel is calling on Congress, the current administration, and even local government to make this a top priority. Well, I think South Dakotans need to understand that this could happen to us. This could happen in Sioux Falls. It could happen in Aberdeen, my, my hometown. It could happen anywhere. And what we have to do is to be sure that we're ready for it, and we're not today. And if you would like to read more about the Blue Ribbon Panel and its work, we have posted a link to its website out of this story at KebbleLand.com.